John Baptiste to stay human. Do you have a nice weekend, John? Hey! How was your weekend? Oh, yeah! Great! It was good. I had a good time. Oh, I was lovely. It was chilling. Mm. Beautiful. You know, uh, folks, uh, the president's weekend tweet storm felt like whiplash because, again, four days before, Trump gave a speech to Congress many called presidential because, much like a president, he spoke in complete sentences and did not attack Alec Baldwin. A lot of people thought it was the start of a new era for Trump. I feel like tonight, Donald Trump became the president of the United States. Yes, that night, Donald Trump became president. <laughs> then, four days later, the president became Donald Trump again. <laughs> so it was a full moon or something. So why did he go from statesmanlike order to Captain Twitter Bananas? <laughs> a lot of people say it was distract from recent bad press. He does it all the time. He's like a magician, misdirecting your attention with sleight of hand. But we all know Trump has the slightest of hands. <laughs> but, no, it's true. It's true. But what is... The trick is, yes, it's a distraction, but what is the president trying to distract us from this time? To find out, once again, we turn to the Late Show Figure It out Outatron. Bring her out, boys. There you go. Nice people. Thank you so much. Oh, the people, the people cannot get enough of the figure it out of Tron. <laughs> that is clear. Okay, let's uh, go through the scenario, okay? Down here, we've got Donald Trump, the man creating the distraction. Up here, we've got D Vladimir Putin, the man he does not want to be connected to. Here, we've got a list of things that could possibly connect Trump to Vladimir Putin that have happened in the past year. So let's see how many of these connect Trump to Putin, okay? Putin will be symbolized with a P, all right? First up, former campaign manager Paul Manafort, who had to step down when it came out he was paid $12 million by the pro-Russian puppet government of Ukraine, or as Trump would call it, negotiating a great, great deal for the people <laughs> of Ukraine. <laughs> okay, that, that's a clear P. That's a clear P. Okay, uh, let's see. Next up, we have the fact that Mike Flynn met with the Russian ambassador. Okay, that gets a P. Jeff Sessions met with the ambassador, too. That gets a P. All right, plus all of the major intelligence agencies agree that Putin tried to influence the election for Trump. FBI, CIA, NSA, P, P, P. <laughs> There's just so much P, which, again, stands for Putin. And these Putin P's are all raining down directly at Trump. <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. Let's not forget about WikiLeaks, okay? And the administration leaks. Okay, all these P's, all these P's, they're coming down off of Putin right here. All these P's are coming down. They're all coming down on Putin right here. They're all coming down on Trump. So many. He's just so much P. So many P's. He's just, he is... He is drowning in pee, <laughs> which again stands for Putin. I mean, there's the answer, folks. Just, just drink it in. <laughs> now, President Trump had better watch out, or this could really leave a stain on his legacy. <laughs> we'll be right